Did you know that you can play most of the popular Android and iOS mobile games on your Windows PC or Mac computers? Well, you can using what's called an Android emulator. There are a handful of good Android emulators out there, but I personally prefer one that is called BlueStacks. I'll quickly show you how to download, install, and configure the BlueStacks emulator, and then I'll show you how to download, install, and run the game from this video's title that you came here to see. And then after all of that, I'll show you some gameplay footage as well so that you can see how good the game runs using BlueStacks. So you'll want to open up a web browser and go to bluestacks.com. Once there, click on the green Download BlueStacks 3N button. And once this page loads, just click the green Download button here. And now I've already downloaded this to my computer, so you can see the file's already there. And it's a pretty big file, about 415 MB. I'm just going to click Cancel since I've already got it. Downsize this. And you can see the file on my computer here is the EXE standard installation file on Windows. Just double click it and go through the process and then we'll see it here in a minute. So in order to shorten this video I skipped the installation process since that's just kind of standard. You'll see now you have a BlueStacks desktop icon so you open that up and it'll take just a minute especially the first time loading. So we'll skip this and come back in just a minute. So once it has booted, you can see that it's on the Pika World tab, and you just want to switch it to My Apps. And you can see that Summoner's War has been installed by default. From time to time, BlueStacks will install a random app on there. That's just this way of being able to keep the software as freeware. You can just ignore it for now. So we'll go over to Settings real quick. You can see under Display and Aspect Ratio, I have it on System Default. I have a 1080p monitor, so I could switch it to that and be a little bit higher quality. I'll leave it on System Default. For DPI, switch it to Low if your game's running choppy, high if not. For Engine, you can do OpenGL or DirectX. I usually do OpenGL, it's the most compatible. You'll want to check Advanced Graphics Mode Beta. For CPU cores, I have eight. I like to set it to four. If you set it too high, sometimes it can lag your computer. So four is pretty good. And I usually like to set it to around three gigs of RAM. So around 3000 MB should be good. Once that's done, just hit restart now and wait for a minute and it'll restart and we'll see it in just a sec. All right, so once it has restarted, we'll go ahead and maximize the screen real quick and then just click on System Apps and go to Google Play. This is just like on any old Android device, your Google Play Store, and we'll do a quick search for Marvel Strike Force. And there you go, all you gotta do is hit that green install button. And depending on your internet connection, it may take a minute or two. Um, as you see there, it's about an 85-ish MB download. Have fast internet, so it won't take long at all. And when that's done, you could go ahead and hit the open button, but I'm gonna go ahead and just close this tab and show you that it's on the home screen now. You can open that up and um, I could bore you with the details of getting it all set up and all that, but I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead in this video and show you some actual gameplay. All right, so we are in game now, and we'll go ahead and just start up a mission, and I can show you how it runs with the Blue Stacks emulator. Now, one thing you'll see here in a minute is I was a little disappointed. The graphics don't seem to be quite as crisp as I had wanted them to be. I've played this game on my iPad a few times, and it looks really nice on the iPad on. For some reason, the BlueStacks emulator it doesn't quite show up like I'd want it to. I tried messing around with uh, different settings, but nothing I, I did could make it look any better. I mean, it still looks pretty good. The animations are really nice and fluid and all that, but the, the edges around the character textures are a little bit uh, aliasing looking. Anyways, uh, I'll stop talking for now and let you go ahead and watch this, and I'll chime back in at the end of the video. So there you go, there is Marvel Strike Force running on the BlueStacks Android emulator on my Windows 10 PC. Um, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you can get this set up and running on your computer. 
Um, I think there are some other emulators that may display it, the graphics a little bit better, but I typically like to stick with blue stacks because it usually works well across most games and you don't run into crashes and all that stuff like you do on some of the other emulators. All right, that's it for now. We'll talk to you later. Have fun. Bye-bye.